Hello, this is Bo from WorkingHandsFree.com, and today we are going to demonstrate how to send messages on your iPhone hands-free with voice control. If you haven't already learned basic navigation, please check out our YouTube channel and watch our introductory video called How to Use iPhone Hands-Free. This will teach you how to get numbers to show up on screen for basic navigation. Otherwise, if you want to learn how to send messages in the iPhone Messages app, Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, and Slack, please keep listening and we will show you our favorite hacks and workarounds for fast navigation in these apps. First, let's start with the iPhone's built-in Messages app. Remember that you can say open and the name of the desired app to open it. Open Messages. Next, you can easily navigate to a message or draft a new message. I'll show you how to draft a new message since that's a bit more difficult. Tap 4. Working hands free. Tap 5. Go to sleep. Now before I said go to sleep, you may have noticed that there were little numbers showing up most everywhere, except there weren't any little numbers showing up at the space where it says text message. This can be a bit frustrating. How do you type in your message? Well, it turns out you can just say the words tap text message or tap subject to access those sections. Next, I'll demonstrate. Wake up. Tap text message. Hello, comma, how are you, question mark. Go to sleep. Now you'll notice that a little number showed up next to the little up arrow symbol to the right, which is the send button. You can send the drafted message by using the usual tap command to tap the number. But did you know that you can also just say tap send? I find this very fast and convenient. For example, I'll show you now. Wake up. Tap send. Go home. That's all I'm going to go over for the Messages app since everything else is easy to navigate with the navigation numbers that show up. Next, I'll show you how to use WhatsApp. It's quite simple since numbers show up for everything and the tap send command automatically works in WhatsApp. Open WhatsApp. Tap 6. Tap 24. Hello, comma, how are you, question mark. Tap send. Go to sleep. Now you'll notice that the tap send command also worked in WhatsApp. You could have also used the little numbers and say tap in the name of the number alternatively. Wake up. Go home. Next, I'm going to show you how to use the Facebook Messenger app. This one is a bit more tricky since the tap send option doesn't automatically work and you have to create a custom command for it. Open Messenger. Tap 25. Hello, comma, how are you, question mark. Tap send. Go to sleep. Now you'll notice that the tap send command doesn't work in Facebook Messenger, but the little numbers do show up and it's easy to navigate and draft your message. Next, I'll show you a workaround for how to get this tap send command to also work in Messenger as well as Slack and just about any other app that might have a button or a section that doesn't appear to be tappable. Wake up. Open settings. Go to sleep. Right now, I've gone to Settings, Accessibility, Voice Control, Customize Commands, Custom to get to this menu. If you're a bit lost, I'd suggest first watching the intro video in our YouTube channel called How to Use iPhone Hands-Free. Here you see a list of custom commands. Next, we will create a custom command called Tap Send. Wake up. Tap 12. Tap send. Go to sleep. 
Although we have typed in tap send, we suggest renaming the custom command with a different name specific to the app that you will be using. For example, tap send in messenger. Wake up. Select all. Delete that. Tap send in messenger. Go to sleep. Next, we will select the action, which in this case is run custom gesture. Wake up. Tap five. We will select run custom gesture, which taps on the screen in the location where the send message icon is located in the messenger app. Tap four. To set this custom gesture, we will next need to tap the section of the screen that would send the message in the messenger app. But how do we know exactly where this is? Well, we would suggest going back to the messenger screen and putting a little piece of tape on your screen at that spot so you know exactly where it is. If you have an arm injury, we would suggest to ask a friend or family member to help you with this part. As you can see now, we are back at the messenger screen and we can place a little piece of tape to the very right of the section that we will need to tap. Open settings. Now that we are back in the settings, we can tap that exact section that we have marked with the tape. And then we will need to click save. Here's what it looks like on the actual screen. Tap two. Next, we will have to click save again. Tap three. As you can see, we now have a custom command in this list called tap send in messenger. Next, we can try this custom command in the Facebook messenger app. Open messenger. Tap send in messenger. As you can see, this command now works in Facebook messenger. Go home. Slack also works similarly to Facebook Messenger, where it's easy to navigate with the numbers, but you will have to set a custom command to send the message. Note that sometimes Slack can also get buggy with the numbers, so in this case, just say show numbers continuously to fix it. Open Slack. Show numbers continuously. Tap 13. Go to sleep. What's interesting here is that when there is any app that opens up and the send icon is in the exact same location as Facebook Messenger, you can use the exact same command to send a message in the app. For example, I will demonstrate. Wake up. Hello, comma, how are you today? Question mark. Tap send in Messenger. Tap send in Messenger. Go home. Now, note that this command would not have necessarily worked if the send button was not in the same location as it was in the Messenger app. However, it may work for various different applications because the typing keyboard will usually open up in the same way. That's it for today. And remember, if you have difficulties navigating, you can always use the show grid command as well. But for me, using the show numbers continuously command and setting custom commands for tap send to work in every app is the most streamlined way of sending messages on iPhone with voice control. Thanks for your time and don't forget to check out our other video tutorials on our YouTube channel. We also have videos showing you how to navigate web browsers on your iPhone such as Safari, how to navigate Gmail, how to navigate the iPhone iCal calendar app, and much more.